Not once, not twice, did Nigeria experience military rule. Can you imagine a country whose president is a soldier and a fighter? In today's class, we are going to be looking at an interesting topic, which is the return of the military regime in Nigeria. In our previous classes, we learned that the first coup took place in January 1966, led by Chukuma Kaduna in Ziogu. We also learned that there was a counter-coup in July 1966, led by Murtala Mohammed and other northern military officers. After these coups, Nigeria returned to civilian rule when President Shehu Shagari was elected as the second democratic president. However, on December 31st, 1983, Nigeria once again had another coup led by top officers of the Nigerian military, after which Major General Buhari was made the head of state. You must be wondering how the coup happened. A certain brigadier, Ibrahim Bako, was tasked with arresting President Shehu Shagari. Unfortunately for him, Brigadier Bako, who was unaware that President Shehu Shagari didn't surrender, went to the presidential villa but was attacked by the presidential guards, which eventually led to his death. To cap it all, the return of the military regime in Nigeria was done to install Major General Muhammadu Buhari as the head of state, who also happens to be the current president of Nigeria. I'm sure that's an interesting fact. See you in the next class.